Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. In today's tutorial guys, I have a laptop um, tutorial again. And of course this one involves your laptop audio not playing with your um, laptop switching between audio devices or of course you might notice the issue as the volume keep bouncing up and down. Alright, I'll show you exactly what I mean. Now of course it's a very um, specific problem that has to do with audio issues. And of course, make sure that you understand the situation before um, continue watching so you can um, better understand what's happening. All right. So in my specific setup, I have a laptop, but I also have this secondary monitor right here, which is the BenQ. And this BenQ has what we call um, the headphone jacks. So of course, there's headphone jack to support your ear, um, your headset, but of course, it's identified by the laptop as an audio device. So it does treat it as a secondary speaker. In your setup, you might have a secondary sound producing device. You may not use the laptop audio and you might use a secondary audio device. Or of course, as I said, your monitor might be treated as an audio device as it has either speakers or a headphone jack, all right? So as I said, my secondary monitor has headphone jacks, so my laptop treats it as a secondary audio device. Sometimes it will randomly switch between both. And of course, the problem is my laptop audio plays fine. However, when it switches to the, the BenQ, if I do not have a headset um, connected, you will not hear any audio. And it will develop as a, or you might think it's an audio issue until you figure that it's the audio has switched to the BenQ. Now, of course, um, when I was having this particular issue, as I said, I noticed over here, as it relates to the volume right here, whenever I clicked on the volume, I noticed it was uh, switching between percentages. It was randomly bouncing up and down. I also noticed right here that it was switching between the uh, Realtek High Definition Audio, which is the laptop, and it was switching to the BenQ and it was switching back and forth, all right? So that was the thing that I noticed. I also noticed that whenever I was trying to play YouTube videos, the YouTube videos um, audio would cut out. I would have to um, disconnect the secondary monitor. And of course I had to restart the browser and the audio would come back. But as soon as I reconnected the, um, the secondary monitor, the audio would go again, all right? So this is how I fixed it. All right, sorry for the long-winded explanation, but I just wanted to make sure that you understand what's happening here. All right, so the first thing I um, did was to go ahead, guys, with the secondary monitor connected, as you're seeing now. I had to come right here. I had to right-click. Once you right-click, go to um, Open Sound Settings. Once you're in Sound Settings, guys, you'll be right here. And you're going to look over here to your extreme right. You're going to click on the second option that says Sound Control Panel. And I had to click. Um, just give me a few seconds for this to appear. Um, the option should um, appear where you have full control. And as you see here, and I fixed the issue already, I'm just explaining. It will show two devices. And in my case, I noticed, noticed that Windows was bouncing between both um, sound devices as if it was confused. And it couldn't determine which was the main device. Even if I rebooted the system, it would have move on over. I think this is a bug. So what I had to do, guys, was to make sure that um, as soon as it was on the main speakers, which is the laptop speakers, I had to time it. And then as soon as it bounced on the main speaker, I had to set the main speakers as default. So I had to click this. The reason why it's not highlighted now is because I've disabled the uh, BenQ monitor as a speaker option. But for you, if you have two options, they should appear here. Or if you have three options, they should appear. So what I had to do was set the default and I set it to the speaker. And of course, that was enough to um, get me the, the switch to stop. And once I restarted the browser, I was able to watch my videos. The sound was okay again, and the problem was um, fixed. Now, of course, guys, um, you might can also try um, disconnecting the secondary speakers and then setting the main one as the default. I, don't know, I do not know if that will work. Maybe when there's only one option, they won't give you the set default. So you have to time it and set as default. Now, to prevent Windows from making this mistake again, what I had to do next was to disable my secondary speakers because I'm not using the um, headphones with this monitor and I don't want it to switch to the secondary monitor. So what I did as an additional step, you can actually stop after setting the main speakers. It will fix the issues, especially in cases where you're having um, 
audio problems where it's switching to some other speaker and you're not getting a, um, the correct audio or of course another speaker is playing the sound that you do not want that speaker to play the sound so you can set your default so to disable the um, secondary speaker to prevent this in the future go ahead guys and come down here right on the troubleshooting on the main page and you just um, click on manage sound devices once you do that guys you should see your speaker you're going to see the BenQ I've already disabled it once you tap it's going to give you the option and you're going to hit disable so select and then tap disable you can also come back in here and re-enable so if I wanted to know I could enable but of course for you you're going to um, click and hit disable and for future if you want to re-enable you can come in here and um, hit enable all right once you do that the issue should be fixed and of course your main audio device will be selected and you'll be able to enjoy your audio all right so that's how to fix the audio base issue on um, windows where you're um, getting no sound and your device is confused and switching between two audio devices or of course you notice in the volume tray over here for right here that the audio is basically switching between two devices or you notice the audio is bouncing up and down as each device has its own independent audio all right so that's how to fix the problem guys if this was useful please give us a thumbs up so the garden as always from blog tech tips that's the quick tips saying bye until next time bye